In this video we're going to create a lexical decision task so that we can see how manipulations work. So to start off with I'm going to add some instructions and after the instructions I'm going to add my task bit. Um, so my instructions will have a rich text zone. Now this is static content. This is content that never changes. Um, for the task, we're going to have two things. We're going to have a fixation cross, and after the fixation cross, we're just going to show a word on the screen, and we're going to want them to respond with two buttons. They're going to be two text buttons, so I'm actually going to go with this one, and then I'm going to change that zone. So first of all, on the fixation, show the fixation cross for 200 milliseconds. Before and after showing the fixation cross, pause and show white space for 100 milliseconds so that will go white cross and then white again now over here we want to edit this layout and i'm going to change this to a text zone now here we're going to want to show a word which changes based on uh, the trial we're on so this is going to come from a spreadsheet and word list one i'll just call it that for now and now here we've got two buttons um, and depending on, um, we're going to set these as manipulations because, and I'm going to set, uh, this is going to be a manipulation called uh, button left and this one over here is going to be a manipulation called button right, which will mean that up in the experiment tree, I could, let's say we've got a word list asking people to categorize farm animals and wild animals. I could have farm and wild here, or I can have wild and farm here, but I'll be able to set that in the experiment tree. Um, let's set this up as well, answer. And this is going to come from the spreadsheet. So each on each trial is going to be different. So this is going to come from the spreadsheet. Uh, we only want the first response, um, and that will do. Okay, so that's the task structure for this. Let's upload our spreadsheet. Um, I'm going to download the spreadsheet here first. Um, so here's our spreadsheet. Now if we go back and look at the task structure, we've got display called instructions. instructions instructions and then we've got task this one's called task so I'll copy that down we're going to do eight trials one two three four five six seven eight um, in terms of our word list we're going to have here we go uh, these ones are all farm animals and the bottom ones are all wild animals that like that And let's put these in a random order. And I can save that. So now let me upload the spreadsheet. Um, and here it is, instructions, task, word list one, and my answers. Now the final thing I need to do is to set up the manipulations. So the defaults, so the bottom left by default is going to be farm, the bottom right is going to be wild, and it can either be farm or wild. So I'll do that. And let's preview this. Instructions to the task, categorize the word shown by clicking on the buttons. That's a farm animal, wild animal, wild, farm. So let's have a look at what, let's commit this and look at what this looks like in the tree. So I'm going to put my lexical decision task here and connect it up. But I might want to 
change the button. So at the moment, let's just preview this. We see farm and wild, because that's the defaults that we set. But what we could do is change that the other way around and do wild and then farm. So now wild and farm. And why this might be useful is you might want to have a randomizer in here to control for button order. Um, we're going to have a wild farm on one side and farm followed by wild on the other side. So here we've got wild farm and here we've got farm followed by wild. Is that right? Wild farm, farm wild. Yeah, so that's now set up to random randomize the order of the buttons as they come through uh, as you take part in the experiment. So that's the idea behind manipulations. I hope that's been helpful. So let's see this in action. In this one, we've got wild and farm. So that's a wild animal, that's a farm animal. But if we preview it again, we've now got farm and wild. So that's it for looking at manipulations.